Right, onwards. Let's go and find something else to take pictures of. Hello, so I said a few weeks ago that I would return to this location again round about now, sort of mid-autumn time. So that's what I'm doing this morning. And all the heel kicks that I did on that past video, which you can see up here, wouldn't prepare me for getting home and realising that as I was crossing that little stream, somehow I changed my photo settings. So when I got home, the pictures I was really really happy with but they were teeny tiny files so not really much use for anything apart from Instagram really definitely couldn't print them definitely couldn't put them in a calendar and that one with the leaves leading up to the little waterfall really epitomized autumn for me so if I do do a calendar that is the kind of shot I would want to include for sort of September October time so I've come back today I'm going to try and recapture those shots it's definitely autumn now Autumn has kicked in, there's leaves everywhere compared to last time. It was very green last time. So let's see what we can get today. Right, so I'm back at this waterfall where I got the picture last time, which was really, really tiny and small. I've just had a look at the waterfall a bit further down and it's nice there's a little bit of swirlage a bit of foam going on but there's a lot of leaves in there so i don't think the shot is worth the muddy climb down to it so i'm gonna i'm gonna concentrate on this first i'm gonna get myself back over the other side try not to fall in try not to slip too much and try and get that pretty much the exact same shot that i did last time the leaves are a bit different all the leaves leaves are a bit bigger and they're not as nicely spread out and patterned but I still think it'll make a lovely, gorgeous, autumnal shot. So let's try and get over that side. I've just got quite a nice first shot of the falls as I said before the leaves aren't quite as picturesque as previously because they in August they had, they were dropping early and they were they were really fresh and there was just a nice layer of them leading you up to the to the waterfall but because we're further on into autumn now the leaves are a little bit more mangled there's been rain there's been water everywhere so they're just a bit swept it's probably probably from the stream they've been swept downstream and it's just not as it's not, it's not as pretty really, but it's still nice. It's still nice. I'm not complaining at all because it's this shot is still going to be beautiful. I'm just I'm playing around trying to figure out. I don't know whether I'm better shooting portrait like I was last time, or whether I'm possibly better shooting landscape. Let's have a look at landscape. Move you around there. I might try both. I might try both and just pick my favourite. Both shots are probably going to be lovely. And I might get just like a four stop out just to try and smooth out the water a little bit. I don't think I used a filter last time. I don't think I needed to because I was I'm focusing on the I'm focusing on the leaves and the, the waterfall is slightly out of focus and in the background. Right, I'm gonna take that. What am I shooting? I'll tell you what I'm shooting. I'm shooting F8, ISO 100 and a 30th of a second just to try and slow down that water a little bit in the background. So I've got the shutter release cable and let's take that picture. I think it needs slightly longer. Let's just slow that exposure down a little bit. 15th of a second, let's see what this does. Just checking my focus. Yeah, that's nice. I think I do prefer the portrait one. I'm going to turn it back to portrait because there's a nice clump of leaves in the foreground. 
which my focus is going to be on and then the background is just the background yeah happy with that here it is What I've done now, I was really happy with that shot, but what I've done now, because I'm here, because I made the effort to come onto this side of the stream, and I have checked my photo settings this time, and we're all good. They haven't changed as I've walked across the river this time. Perfect. What I've done is, there's a nice bit of sunlight just kicking through and just hitting, just taking, just lighting up these, these front leaves, just in front of the fall. So I've just put my ND4 grad on. So I've just put my ND4 filter on and I'm just going to try and use that light and the falls to create something that little bit creative. There's a little bit of light coming through and just lighting up these, these front leaves just in front of the falls. So I've put my ND4 filter on and I'm just going to try and create something a little bit special. A little, a little bit different with the, with the lit up leaves and the and sort of the curves of the of the falls as well. Let's see what I can figure out. If I do it right, I think it'll be lovely. Right, what I've done here, you can see the light coming from up there. It's just lighting up all these leaves and just giving it that little bit of extra special detail. So I've I've got my camera set up here. I've got the ND4 filter on, which is just making everything a little bit, you know, a little bit magical. The curve of this waterfall is fantastic. You see it going all the way around there. And it's sort of a little bit mirrored by the by the, um, the leaves, actually. But it just looks beautiful. I've got a shot. Really, really happy. It looks fantastic. But what I think is just making it this time, it's just the leaves. It's the leaves. It's that little bit of light. I don't get a lot of luck with light. Never, never do I get luck with light. But that is just peeking through. And it's not really hitting anything else apart from the apart from the area that I'm shooting. So someone's up there watching over me. Beautiful shot, really, really happy. Here it is. I've just played around with another shot, but I was really, really lucky with that light. It's now disappeared. It was hitting exactly the right objects and subjects when I needed it, and now it's disappeared. So I think I've taken what I can from this waterfall today. I'm really happy that I've got the shot that I wanted, that I got last time, but in the right format that I needed. And I think, in many ways, this is actually better. It's a better shot because I feel it's a bit early last time. The, the leaves were really, really pretty, but they were, they were new, they were fresh. Whereas this time, it's middle of autumn and you can really feel and feel the the autumnal vibe and i think this shot really encapsulates autumn as well you can tell it's autumn because i've got a cold which is great right onwards let's go and find something else to take pictures of let's go Okay, so I've come back to where I took the shot of the birch tree. And the bir that, that's, that particular birch tree was really standing out that time when I took it because there was so much greenery around. But look at it now. That was the birch tree that I took here. But what I'm looking at today is this one. As I said, I've been searching for a tree for four weeks to take. And the idea was to come back to it 
every week for four weeks and see autumn progress with this one tree. I've not managed to find a tree that really grabbed me, so that's going to have to wait till next year. But this tree, there's just something about it. I think it's because, I think it's a birch tree. So immediately it stands out. It's stripped back, it's bare, it's a little bit white, a little bit silver. And with the orangey, burnt orange, browny background, as you can see, it just looks, it just stands out. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up my gear and try and make this shot make up for the, the tiny, teeny, tiny tree, picture of the tree there from last time, and also make up for four weeks of going to parks and forest and woodland and trying to find a tree. I think that this is the tree I've been looking for. Okay, so I've just set up the shot and I've done a test shot and I'm really, really happy. Finally, something's paid off. Today is just my day for some reason. I'm getting light down at the waterfalls, even though it's the middle of the morning. I found a tree which just looks perfect, which I've been searching for for a month. It's not at all what was in my head, not at all what I envisioned, but it's just when I came back up here to look at the other tree, that doesn't look like anything now because there's no greenery around it. But this tree just stands out because that greenery has disappeared. The heather's gone orange and burnt orange and there's trees in the background that have turned it just looks beautiful the bark of this tree just stands out from the background i've checked my focus and i've checked it to the nth degree i'm really really checking my focus here because the point is to get a really really crystal i've just knocked my focus a really really crystal sharp pin sharp focus on the bark just create a gorgeous pattern on the blanket of orange behind it really 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 happy I'm really really happy with what I've got today so far I don't know if I'll get anything else it's just nice being out in nature definitely nice autumnal woodland some fresh air hanging around with some mates and it's lovely I am by this tree that I've seen before which you, know, you see it splits into two and it kind of creates a frame and I think it'd be lovely with a little bit of mist just coming out of that river out of the stream but I don't think I'll take it today. I don't think it works today. As I've said before, I think it was last time I was here, you need to know when to take a picture and when not to take a picture. And I'll probably think about that tree, but I don't think I'll be taking a picture today. It needs, it needs the right conditions, but at least I know it's here. So yeah, I'm happy that I've taken or retaken the shots that I got before. And I think, I've got, I think they've turned out better this time as well. I think they've turned out a lot more I don't know, just what I wanted. Well, the waterfall one definitely did. Although, I think both, both shots are going to be brilliant. If you put them up, by, up side by side. I think I've got what I wanted from this trip. I wanted to re retake them shots that I messed up. I think I've got what I wanted from this trip. I wanted to retake those shots that I messed up with the settings. But I've, I've, but I've managed to get that other shot that I've been waiting for for a month. Hopefully it looks as good on the screen as it does in the back of the camera and I'm not just rambling about some half decent shot. I'm going to see if there's any other shots that catch my eye on the way out but if there's not then that's me for today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe if you can and I'll be back next Tuesday 6pm UK time with another vlog. Thanks again for watching and take care. <laughs>